over. This is the fiction section. Fiction means it's a made up story. Brain, a little salty cracker there, of course. Uh, I'm a big fan. Anyway, hey everybody, today is the day. I said I'm gonna bring you this uh, Lagrange Point One. People, this is where they out the satellite. They took a picture of the Earth. Um, no, no, you didn't. Anyway, I'm gonna reveal it. I didn't get as many bites on this one because after the first video, the sun flares, man, they got shook up. They were afraid now to say whether something's real or not. This is hilarious. Although you know they believe this is real because uh, here, this is where the video comes from. This is from NASA Goddard. This is an official video. It's two minutes and I think 56 seconds long. Presented by Jay Hyman, lead uh, grifter, lead gaslighter. Anyway, so let me review a little bit, show you where we came from. Quick review and, and then we'll get to the reveal. Okay. Let's go. And this is the clip that I showed them. Near the end of the video, I challenged the uh, ball earthers, the anti-flat earthers, who believe the grift, the swindle. I told them, let me know if you think this is real and I'll put you in my comebacker video. So I got three willing participants. A longtime troll, Paolo Salucci, Napol Mast, and number six. <laughs> He's actually asking, what satellite did this come from, P-Brain? Paolo Salucci, let's go over what he says. I'm not believing the space footage is nothing new for you, P-Brain. And obviously, there's a difference when you look at the sun from 149 million kilometers, and when you send a probe very near using different wavelengths. Ooh. Well, now he's going, P-Brain, I'm upset with you. You tweaked me. You a liar, P-Brain. He's too much. And here's Napole Mast. You just laughed at real footage of the fun, P-Brain. And you want to make me believe you wouldn't just laugh at anything? You would be prevented, P-Brain? Isn't this a declaration of dishonesty? And aren't you being a rascally wabbit? And then we got the next guy, number six. So he says, where did you find this video clip? What satellite was used, Mr. P-Brain? Well, I didn't exactly get it from a satellite, and I said I would show you what it was, and this is what I did. I showed him with a little uh, countdown for a little drama, something like this. Well, we finally landed it. We've got a sun that works. We've got animated sun flares and hotspots and everything. And I think this shader looks really, really cool. Hello and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be making solar flares. Let's get started. Okay, so I had them so spooked from this video of the sun flares that I totally busted them and humiliated them with that when I put this one out, even though I told them it's from Lagrange Point One and it's a million miles away and they could look it up and they know it's from NASA Goddard and it's what's presented as quote unquote real, right? This is what we've told the, that we live on, this spinning ball. So, so yeah, I put out this real or fake and I played this one clip, it's a 24 hour loop. I just pulled this from the video. I didn't show the whole video, I showed this. Okay, so I presented this 24 hour loop from the NASA Goddard YouTube channel and the video is called One Year on Earth, a theme from one million miles. And still, in spite of that, because they got so shook up during the sun flare video, which they all bit and made fools of themselves, they're afraid to commit even on this when they can look it up and see that it's from NASA Goddard, right? So still these spinning space ball Earth believers won't commit. That's hilarious. So now I'm going to play the uh, two minute and 46 second NASA video. And I tell you guys to be on the lookout for the fraud and see what jumps out at you. You're probably not going to see anything and you'll get why that is. Just before I reveal it, I'll tell you something naughty that I did. Okay? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's listen to Jay Hyman. He's the lead scientist. What a numbnut. 
This guy sounds half dead. All right, here we go. I'm Jay Herman. I'm Jay Herman. I'm the Herman. epic lead scientist lead for Grifter? the Discover mission. Uh -huh. On July 6, 2015, we released this spectacular image of Earth taken by NASA's epic camera. Mm -hmm. Now, we assembled more than 3,000 images captured by epic into a time-lapse sequence that shows a year in the life of our planet. Yeah, you did. Some nice psycho music. EPIC is an Earth science instrument aboard the Discover satellite, which launched in February 2015. The spacecraft always remains between the Sun and the Earth, yeah, approximately it does. one million miles away. Mm hmm Okay, so this is how this Lagrange works, right? This satellite, the EPIC, or whatever, is in between the Sun and the Earth. It's about a million miles from the Earth and 92 million miles from the Sun, and it's balanced. Now, the, here's a view of the orbit. This would be the Earth orbiting the Sun. Now, normally, anything closer to the Sun than the Earth would have to be moving faster in order to maintain an equal uh, distance from the Sun as it orbits, right? Like the Earth is supposedly orbiting, even though it's a, uh, an ellipse. But let's just assume it's a circle for the moment. Okay, so the reason that the uh, satellite can stay a million miles closer to the sun and not plummet to the sun is because the Earth's gravity is supposedly pulling it upward. Otherwise, it would have to be the same distance away from the sun as the Earth is in order to maintain that orbit. But it can be a million miles closer because it's balancing in between. Okay, it's a bunch of nonsense, of course, but that's what they say. Okay, so let's go on. Well, I got a question for you, Mr. Scientist Man. I'm going to be attempting the world's high jump record very soon. Should I do it at 12 noon so the sun is overhead and I jump really high? So I take advantage of the sun's gravity? Serious question. The spacecraft always remains between the sun and the Earth, approximately one million miles away, away at a special gravitational balance point known as Lagrange 1. From this view, Epic sees the sunrise in the west and the sunset in the east at least 13 times a day. 14 times a day. The oh. haze seen around the edges is due to scattering of light by molecules in the atmosphere. What haze? Scattering is also what makes the sky appear blue during the day and red at sunset. Doesn't the angle that you see the sun have something to do with it, Jay Hoyman? Nice lullaby music, too, again. Colors shown are our best estimate of what a human sitting at the location of Epic would see. Wait a second. What'd you just say, Jay Hoyman? It's the best estimate of what a human would see? Let's back that up. The colors shown are our best estimate of what a human sitting at the location of Epic would see. <laughs> what? You're kidding me, right? You guys, you can't give us a real video of the Earth? You're giving us some kind of estimate? Uh, earlier you said the Epic camera took 3,000 images that you put together in a time lapse. That sounds to me like a video. But now you're saying it's your best estimate of what a human would see? Epic takes at least one set of images about every two hours. Mm -hmm. The camera records each set in 10 different wavelengths. 10 different wavelengths. Camera records each set in 10 different wavelengths. Just give us a video. Just any video. Or you get a cheap phone camera as something. What do you mean? At least three separate wavelengths, red, green, and blue, are combined to produce this color view. Oh, now I get it. You mean like here in Blender. Yeah, that's, that's, you're giving away your secret here. So yeah, you use this right here, red, green, and blue, and you come up with your colors of your spinning ball. Here, I just have a simple ball, you can see, there you go. Uh-huh. I wish I had access to the original file here. Then I could show everybody that this was made in 3D animation software. But since uh, I don't have access, I'll just have to show you the artist's signature. <laughs> Coming up. In March, the moon passed between the Earth and the sun, causing a total solar eclipse. During the eclipse, the moon cast its shadow over a portion of the planet. If we slow the video down, we can see the moon shadow make an appearance right about now. 
Although the view from Epic is only once every two hours, <laughs> we're able to track features like the motion of clouds. Around two thirds of the Earth is covered by clouds. Clouds reflect light from the sun, helping to keep the planet cool. Hoping to keep the planet cool. They also cool. trap heat rising from the surface, keeping the planet warm. Oh, that's what you like. That's the important part. You trap the heat. Is that why you guys are putting all those jet trail clouds in the sky? Are you trying to trap some of the heat so that you can make the temperatures go up so you can get more money for your global warming? Oh, wait, excuse me. Now it's called climate change because um, you got hit with so many cold winters that you were like, uh-oh, how do we capitalize on this? Nobody's believing the global warming anymore. Therefore, how about climate change? Now we can get them whether it's cold or hot. Brilliant. Changes in cloud cover affect the heat balance and how warm the Earth becomes, uh -huh. which is one of the reasons why we study them. That's why we study them. No, the real reason is $20 billion a year that NASA gets, and all your fake science agencies get a piece of the pie, too. That's a whole nother subject. I'd love to go into that. From the days that we moved off of the farm and we moved into the cities, that's when the grift began. That's when they started to take in tax money. And as soon as you get a pile of money, whether it's big mega churches or it's a local government or the federal government, condo associations, insurance money, whatever it is, the grifters show up to get that money. And then they come up with all this fake science and that justifies giving them and them taking the money. That's a whole nother subject. Man, we'll get into that one of these days. The hourly images of the entire sunlit side of the earth provided by Epic will be used to study the daily variations of features over the entire globe, Was that right? helping us to better understand and protect our home planet. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, lullaby ball. See you later. Okay, so let's get to the reveal. You remember earlier where I said I did something naughty? Well, what I did was I replaced their slow zoom intro image with another image from the same video. So it's not that naughty. I just, I didn't show the very, uh, first one that they showed because in that they show the animator's signature and I didn't want to give it away too soon or too early, right? So now I'm going to play Jay Hoyman's intro again and see if you see it, right? It's the artist's signature, if you will. I'm Jay Herman. I'm the Epic Lead Scientist for the Discover mission. On July 6, 2015, we released this spectacular image of Earth taken by NASA's epic camera. Now, we assembled more than 3,000 images captured by epic into a time-lapse sequence that shows a year in the life of our planet. Epic All right, Earth here, I'm going to flip it over. Now, many of us have seen this image, but I never knew it was attached to a video like this video. <laughs> And they're always pulling this video out. Oh, P-Brain, you got to see the uh, Lagrange 1 footage. That's real. Or the Himawawi, the Himawawi satellite, P-Brain. Uh, no, it's not real. Okay, so here you go on the right. You get it? This is from NASA Goddard. This is, a rich, this is official video. And here is the uh, letters S-E-X. What is this? You think this is a coincidence? And they, they put this up. You don't think Jay Hoyman knew this was here or saw this? Well, maybe not. He's, he such, sounds like such a moron. Maybe he didn't see it. But there it is, people. This is fake. This is what animators do. Now, I'm not going to show you all the Disney stuff, but you can look up uh, Disney subliminal messaging or, you know, dirty stuff that they put in kids' videos kids' cartoons. These people are sick. All right. And so there you have it. Anybody believes this is real, this is not real. And this is on their official NASA Goddard YouTube channel. This is fake. This is on their website. This is NASA Goddard. And he did a presentation, two minute and 46 second, whatever video this is. I'll put the link in the description for that, for the original. But there you go. All you globetards. You've been played. This is fake. Those clouds right there, that's made in Blender or any, uh, you can make that any software. Easy. PowerPoint, you can make that. So, yeah. 
You've been had, dummies. That's it. I'll try to put the uh, the one out on the other Earth that I did and uh, asked if it were <laughs> real or fake. And I got Bob the Thionth guy is going to star in that one. All right. All right. Okay, everybody, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye.